Well, I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a good outcome, obviously, for the, for the board. Um, I think, uh, to be honest with you, you know, th there are no winners here. Uh, this, this was, this was a, a, a long, very uh, extended you know, fight over two months, uh, a very distracting one for me personally. Uh, you know, we have a lot of key issues to focus on, which I want to progress as, as soon as we can. But I think there were two important points that came out of this, this vote. Uh, firstly, if you exclude the uh, concert parties in this, both the concert party with Nat Rothschild and the concert party with Borneo joint venture, you will see that actually uh, the, the vote against uh, putting Nat Rothschild on the board was 87%. And that, that sends a very clear message. And what is that message? That is that his highly confrontational and public approach to all kinds of matters here isn't supported by the shareholders. The second message it, it, it gives is that the support for a lot of the board members, but in particular myself, uh, which is 81 percent, is not, I don't take that as a, as a, 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 a pat on the back, but it certainly is a mandate to get on with things and affect the separation but from the But on the matter the of a mandate, Nick, Rothschild, Nat Rothschild, did also say after the vote yesterday that about two-thirds of non-aligned shareholders voted against the board. Is that a mandate when two-thirds of non-aligned shareholders voted against well, the board, I, I or would, is that not true? I would dispute that. Okay. Uh, so, and I don't want to get into, into no. figures here, but no. you know, 25 out of 32 long-only institutions in the UK supported the board. That says everything. And, and, and again, I go back to when I <coughs> first took over this job and when I first appeared in, on your program a few weeks ago. You know, my mandate is very clear, particularly after yesterday. You know, one, it's to affect a separation from this troubled asset, Bumi Resource, and the Bakeries. And we have a firm plan, a clear one, and $50 million in escrow. Secondly, it's to focus on the business that we have at hand, which is Barao. It's a great operating subsidiary. We have a lot to do. We've already made a number of changes, and I can go through those. Uh, but there's a great future for us once we affect the separation, and that's the key priority for us. I'll let Olivia ask about your plans next. Before I get to Olivia, Nick, just a final question on the day after. Do you personally feel vindicated? Because the man who set up the company did say that he didn't think you were the right man for the job. Do you feel personally vindicated today? What's it like having the threat of losing your job, losing your role as chief executive over the last month? Well, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, shareholders need to decide what they want. Um, as I've said before, I have you know, 25 years of experience in the mining industry. Uh, I've worked very closely over the last almost two years with all of the Indonesian stakeholders in Bumi. I've spent quite a lot of time in Indonesia. And you've got to understand these issues. They're not simple. Uh, and we've got quite a complex uh, set of arrangements to get through. Uh, so I, I'm very clear about that. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I do see it as a, as a mandate to get on with things by our shareholders. Nick, let's bring in Olivia, who, of course, has been following this story right from the start. She, of course, is in New York. Olivia. Hi, Nick. Well, I did just hear you say that 25 out of 32 independent shareholders did back the current board to stay on. But, of course, this share sale by the Rosalani Group did actually change the math and really turn the tide, tip the scales in favor of the current board. It meant that Rothschild would have to win a lot more votes um, to actually succeed yesterday. Was that share sale strategic move? Well, it was, it, was a, it was a requirement by the takeover panel for this, uh, this, this institution, uh, Recapital, to, to sell down their holding, something, in, in fact, that Nat Rothschild uh, ac publicly actively supported. So it was very much in line with that. We've got three uh, great new shareholders. Um, we've got uh, uh, um, a fund based out of the U.S. called Avenue. Uh, they're the largest of the, sh of, the, of the new independent shareholders and will become our largest independent shareholder going forward. Uh, I've already had talks with them yesterday uh, since they're, um, they're becoming our, our, our newest, largest shareholder. Uh, Argyle, which is a fund based in, in Hong Kong, and then, uh, and then another fund based in, in, in Indonesia, owned by a media tycoon. What do you feel are the prospects for the business now going forward? You know, many analysts say the outlook for coal is certainly uncertain, you could say. What are the prospects now? Will the share price ever recover to the level at which it went public? Look, I, I, I can't promise that because obviously the, 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 the fundamental economics have, have changed because the coal price was very different to, to, to what it was two years ago. I think we're seeing some recovery in the coal price. Uh, you know, that certainly has had 
a, a, a helpful impact for us. Uh, you're seeing an, you know, an impact on U.S. coal exports into Asia, both uh, Appalachian and Partner River Basin. Those, those are, are exporting into Asia at a loss. Uh, so we hope that will dry up. And yeah, I mean, at $95 Newcastle benchmark, that's a, that's a much better price than, than we've seen recently. Nick, let's talk about what happens next. As you said, it clears the way for you to proceed with this deal to split from the family. Let's talk what happens. When are you going to seek investors' approval first? Well, we, we, we obviously need to uh, now move to the next stage with the back reads, which is the, the, uh, the sale and purchase agreement. Um, and, and we expect to complete that over the next few weeks. Yeah, that's definite in that's, the next couple of weeks. That is indeed. Yes. Um, and then we will need our to publish our final audited results, which come in uh, mid-March. So once we've published those, we will then issue our circular. And, uh, and put it to a vote in, in hopefully late April, and early May. I'm that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> well, I, I can't see why, because, I mean, you know, the, 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 the one clear message from every single institutional shareholder I have talked to and met with, including Nat Rothschild, is we need to effect the separation. Okay? It's the only way forward. So I can't believe that anybody would want to turn down a, a, a $600 you? million dollar deal. Will Nat Rothschild support you? Do you think? I mean, he hasn't said yet whether he'll support it. Well, I would, I would certainly encourage him to support it. Will you be and speaking to him in person? I, if, if, he, if he wants to, absolutely. And, and I would say this also to those shareholders, those independent shareholders who voted against the, the board. Please support us. Uh, I want to put this past behind us. And I make the same appeal to Nat Rothschild. Support us. We have a clear plan and we have a solution here. And there is a high road scenario and we're very close to that. And you're confident you'll get the money from the Bakris, this $278 million for this stake in Boomi Resources. You're confident that is, that is forthcoming as well? Look, I, I can't speak for the Bakris' personal finances, yeah. but all I can say is that $50 million in an escrow account uh, where they can't change the terms of this transaction says to me that's quite a lot of money to put at risk. And what about this McFarlane report? Will you publish it in full as Nat Rothschild has asked you to do? Can you give us an assurance that you will? The McFarlane report is, is still live. So they are looking at a number of issues. Uh, it would be uh, foolish to publish that now, uh, like in any investigation yeah. that's ongoing. So we, until we have proven wrongdoing and have sought compensation, absolutely after that, I have no hesitation in publishing the McFarlane And what can investors expect when it comes to pursuing potential claims? following the investigation by McFarlane's? What can they expect? We will have to see. I mean, Mark, these are, these are complex issues, you know, uh, unlike what Nat has intimated. Um, the, the, the billion dollars that, that has gone missing did not occur under this board's watch, okay? They occurred in primarily Bumi, Bumi TBK before PLC became invested in that entity. So these, some of these occurred five or six years ago. So they, these are complex issues. They are different jurisdictions, they're different companies, some of the institutions, individuals haven't responded. Uh, but, you know, we are doing everything possible. We met with the Indonesian regulator two weeks ago. We are having further meeting uh, with them next week. We've, we've met with the UK regulators. So, in my view, we're doing everything conceptually possible to go after these uh, alleged wrongdoings. Nick, final question. I'm going to get shot for asking it because we're overrunning, but very quickly, you've been through more as a CEO in a few months that many CEOs have been through in years. As someone who's lived through it, who's gained experience through the voting process, what's the secret? <laughs> what have you experienced? What's the takeaway? What have you learned very quickly from the last two months as, as, a, ch as a chief executive, as a manager? I think it's step by step. Uh, when, when there are a lot of bullets being fired at you, focus on what you can do and close down the noise. As they say, you know, there's, there's an expression, the tough and, tough and steel has to come through the, the hottest fire. You certainly achieved that, Nick. Thank you for joining us today. And do come back uh, uh, when you release results and many times in the future.